before we begin, let's have a quick recap of all our finalists. Neon Polytechnic student Bernard Ging was the first to qualify for the finals. The enthusiastic Roger Marsh cleared the course soon after Bernard. And who could forget prison officer Kelvin Ong, who held the fastest time of a minute and seven seconds for most of the series. Moving on to episode two, 24-year-old Jimko Scheifel Irfan cleared the obstacles easily. Then there was student Norandika, who didn't have the easiest time on the course, but still made it to the finish. The abstacular Jensen Go was a treat for the ladies. He displayed solid upper body strength all the way through. Parker Boy, CP Co, then showed us what he was made of by slamming the buzzer. Weapon specialist Bernard Chu was the first guy from our uniform personnel special to make it through. Ranger Muhammad Hafiz, also known as Ko Meng, then lived up to his historical namesake by strategically tackling the course. 23-year-old Chan Jing Yong then proved that medics can be tough guys too. And for the last of our men in uniform, police officer Denz Lee fights his way to the finish. From episode four, the only one of eight canoe polo guys to make it through, Isaiah Howe. 18-year-old student Jasper Chua taught us a thing or two when he made it through in one minute and 15 seconds. And we have trapeze instructor Ifan who swung and jumped his way into the finals. Just last week, No Ong surprised us all when he made it through with his glasses on. SMU student Adriel Chu proved that rock climbers were made for this course. And of course, Rifi Abdullah, who broke Alvin Ong's record by completing stage one in 43 seconds. Seconds. 